Hi guys, so it's Friday and there are so many good and funny things you can do on a Friday. So when you are doing funny things, you do want to smell good. Oh yeah. Yeah. So I asked Rotten Rebel to pick out, out his uh, recommendations for some of the things you can do on a Friday. Mm. Like going on a date, going out with your friends, just staying at home with your family, maybe some Netflix and chill. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So... Um, I'm gonna ask you to pick out the first one and that is the perfect Friday fun fragrance if you are going on a Friday date. Mm. So an awesome men's fragrance that is perfect uh, for a date is Armani's Stronger With You, absolutely. Uh, so if you have tried Stronger With You, which pretty much every man by now should have tried, yeah. Uh, then you can feel that one in this one but to me the sweetness is toned down in this one and instead you have a bit more uh, a bit heavier boozy side uh, this one to me feels like the original but sexier yeah. and that I think is important when you are going on a date uh, you should smell alluring, you should have a seductive aura around you, and you should definitely feel and smell sexy. And yeah. this one does all that. How do you feel about my dating pick? Yes, I think that is a great choice. Absolutely, it's so sexy and attractive on a man. Mm. Uh, what kind of date would you wear this to? So I think uh, this one has a seriously sexy side to it. Uh, and I think it, it doesn't matter if you're going on a date and you like to the movies or if you're going out for dinner or if you are going to meet up with her for a drink or something. I still think that you should have this sexy scent on you. Um, so I don't think really it matters what you do, except if you are going on a date like in the gym. Yeah. Then maybe put on something different. Uh, but yeah, this one I think works pretty much anytime. Would you agree or do you disagree? Yeah. No, I really agree. This is so good. You can use it just to any kind of date and she will definitely want to be close to you. Yeah. Yeah. So if you were going out with your friends, uh, maybe just taking a drink at a bar, maybe continuing to a club and having the whole night out, mm. what would you wear? Uh, I'm gonna go with uh, one of the latest, no, no, not one of the latest, the latest, <laughs> um, Sauvage Flanker, and this is Sauvage Elixir. Uh, so uh, a beautiful sandalwood uh, together with licorice and lavender. Uh, this one to me is, it's not super sexy, but it is extremely sexy, if that yeah. makes sense. But it's balanced up with a side that to me feels like a gentleman. Or yeah. So, so it has these two sides. It's like gentleman sexy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, so that's why I chose this one for when you go out with your friends, because then you're gonna have the both of two worlds. You're gonna smell good in a way that most people, both men and women are going to think it smells amazing yeah but let's say you go out with your friends and then when you're standing there having a drink with your friends and by the bar you see someone that you go you go like oh my god i got just gotta go and say hello to her then this one is going to make you smell fantastic to her as well or him yeah um so yeah i think this is the latest one uh, salvage and i just fell in love with it from the get-go and i'm so happy that i have it yeah. How do you feel about it? Uh, yeah, I love this one. This is like um, a perfect, a perfect. What you, what would you say? Boss up of the original mm. uh, Savage. Have you been out with the original Savage with you? And what was the reactions on that one? Um, the original Savage. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so the original Savage, I used the shit out of it when it was released for like at least a year or so. Uh, but I really uh, worn it so much that I uh, got bored of it. Wow. And <clears throat> it started to go up higher and higher in the top list. And it just started to climb all the different top lists in pretty much every single country. Yeah. Which meant that uh, I wasn't the only one that had it on. Pretty much every single guy had it on. And uh, those two things combined um, led to me just not using it yeah but when i used it both when i was out like uh, let's say i went for a drink or dining out with friends or something made an impact so i managed to get reactions from both men and women yeah. or when i was at a party i could go get compliments from both men and women uh, but also i've been to different sort of uh, offices 
when I've had that one on and that was a head turner. Yeah. Uh, I have so many memories where I just like walked down the stairs and a woman went up and then like two meters when she passed me she was like oh my god you smell amazing what is it uh, and she had to ask because she wanted to buy it for her husband stuff uh, like that ah uh, so, so if you're out looking for someone maybe that's not a good idea uh well <laughs> well i think the original is still an amazing one it really is but i'm, I'm a bit bored about uh, with it yeah. uh, it smells amazing you're gonna smell amazing to most people but i can't really move I mean, when I go to the gym yeah. uh, and, uh, you know, we have a bunch of guys in the locker room, there's like 99% chance that I'm going to end up smelling salvage in the air <laughs> yeah. because it's so common. Yeah. This one, however, takes the whole composition to a new level. It's totally different from the original, which is fun. Uh, and it's also brand new, which is going to make you smell amazing in uh it's gonna add another layer of attractiveness because it's not uh, as common scent as the mm, original yeah so highly recommended and you enjoy it as well yes this is really good and uh, would definitely impress mm. yes so another good friday activity is uh netflix and chill Whoa. activity i would say that's a pretty damn good activity. yeah <laughs> um so what are you wearing uh I, I mean, I could come up with so many suggestions, but I decided to go with Paco Rabanne's One Million Privé. Uh, so you have that uh, spice mix, and then you have myrrh, and then you have tobacco. I believe there's tonka in it as well. Yeah. The combination is something that is, to me, mature, but playful and flirty and definitely sexy. Yes. Uh, and this is one that I recommended in your Netflix and chill video. Yeah. So Good I think you should link to that one above. Yeah. So make sure you guys don't miss, miss that one. Uh, but this is just, it's so sexy. It is, it has a sweet side, but it's not overly sweet. I think it's perfectly balanced. It's mature, but in a fun and playful way. Yes. So how do you feel about my pick? I love this one. It's so amazing. I love it on a man. I actually love it so much that I also bought it for myself. Mm. So what do you think about women wearing this one? Mm. Good question. I would most likely enjoy it. Yeah. yeah. It's it's uh, and the thing with this one is that once it dries down, that full dry down, it's yeah. it's just it's so good. And that full dry down works on this unisex it yeah, works on anyone i agree uh but what uh, one thing i want to say about this one if you are trying it out if you haven't bought it yet um make sure you try it on your skin and make sure you let it dry down so you can get away from that dry down because that one is yeah, just mind-blowing so yeah. yeah so this is uh my pick for netflix and chill so if you maybe are you maybe have a wife or a girlfriend and you have kids then a perfect friday can be spending time at home mm. maybe eating something nice spending time watching something together or playing games and you do want to smell good for oh, yeah. that special one in your life yeah uh, what is your choice uh, i decided to go with uh, jean paul gaultier uh, la Malle, the iconic classic one uh, and the reason for that is this one to me is something that is, it has truly a unique kind of personality yeah. and scent profile. Uh, and um, the other reason is that most, I think this is really versatile. So regardless if you are at home with your family or yeah. if you're going out for dinner with your family or if you are taking a walk with your family, whatever you end up doing during that day, this is going to work. Yeah. And it's it's I can't even recall meeting someone who doesn't like no, it. No, no. But the, it's not just one that is um, mass appealing in a boring way. This is mass appealing in a really yes. fun way. Yes. And I would say, I mean, I also met quite a few who find this to be really sexy. I think it's sexy. Yeah. But in a in a bit more sort of a subtle way as compared to let's say le parfum. Yeah. So this one was my pick for if you are going to spend the day with your family and still want to smell really good. Yeah, and I would say you're so correct and this is not a boring one. And this is one that I think no woman will ever get tired of. Yeah, Because definitely. it smells so good. Yeah, definitely. 
So that was approved by you then? Yes. Okay. If you like to work out, maybe a perfect Friday for you is spending time in the gym. Mm. Um, either by yourself or with someone that you like to spend time in the gym with. Uh, or if you want to find someone to mm. have fun in the gym with. So which fragrance would you choose for a um, Friday in the gym? I decided to go with Versace's Pour Homme. Uh, this is another, I would say modern classic almost. Uh, so this one is light. Uh, bright uh, but it has a bit of depth to it and I believe there's a hint of tonka and some musk and stuff okay. uh, and a few woody notes but this one is just so inoffensive but it, it has that something so it's not generic or boring it has yeah. that something that makes people react to it yeah both men and women are going to go like whoa that's nice what is that uh, and that's why I feel it's perfect for the gym and that's why I usually recommend it for the gym because you're going to smell fantastic in a really inoffensive and mass appealing way and in a light way. Yeah. So you're not going to be clawing up the entire place no, with something. If, at least if you have showered in yeah. before you go to the gym because yeah. there are yeah. those who doesn't do that yeah. and the fragrance will not Don't be help. that guy now. No. Uh, but this is, um, I mean, some people are going to say that this is boring but i don't agree i think this yeah, is one of the beautiful. most mass appealing inoffensive blind by worthy fragrances that you can get that you can't go wrong with yeah period yeah so this is my choice if you are going to the gym sometimes an evening by yourself can be just a perfect oh, friday yeah. i love spending time especially on weekends just by myself uh, and i'm guessing there are more like mm. me so if you are spending a friday at home having having fun with yourself that sounds so weird <laughs> yeah. i just spent a friday at home by yourself yeah what would you wear um so that's i mean you that's when i can go just a while so i can have pretty much anything i want yeah. but one one fragrance that really is just this is a modern classic to me it smells amazing to most people and it just gives me a really nice feeling so I can put it on and just feel really good uh, by myself. Yeah. Uh, and this one is Victor and Rolf Spice Bomb. Yeah. Uh, so there's no Spice Bomb without, without those spices. Um, so this is spicy, a bit of tobacco. It's warm, it's cozy, Sweet. it makes me feel good. Yeah. Uh, I love Spice Bomb and there's a reason for it being that successful and so mass appealing. It's just, yes. It just smells so good. Yeah. So when you finish that bottle, will you buy a new one? Definitely. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but I'm I'm thinking you might not need to do that in quite some time because I think you have like them all. Uh, yeah. <laughs> the newest one. Um... But this one is actually the original one. I can't even see through it, so I don't know how much juice is in it. But uh... whenever this one finishes, I am definitely going to buy a new one. Yeah. This is one that is always going to. I'm always going to have it in my collection. Highly recommend it. And let's say you are, you decided to, okay, this Friday, I've been working so much. I've been around so many people this week. I just want to relax by myself at home. You spray it on, but then you go like, hey, my body is out. I want to go out. I changed my mind. You know what? This is going to work for that one as well. Yeah. Just reapply it and go out and you're going to smell amazing to most people yes so right. highly recommend it i love spice bomb and i can highly recommend the new infrared yes. as well if you want something that is reminds you of this one but with a much sweeter and fruity side and if you want to know more about that one i can link to your uh, previous or Ooh. recent review yeah. of that one um, so I will put a link up so upstairs. <laughs> this was my choice for if you're just gonna relax and have fun at home. Yeah. That was some Friday fun fragrances. And if you have any Friday situations that you have the perfect fragrance for, put it in the comments. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Drop a comment. Drop a <laughs> like. You know, bing, 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 bing. Uh, hit it twice. No, no, once. <laughs>
once or <laughs> yeah. three it's yeah or just, three yeah once or three times <laughs> uh, and make sure you subscribe to Sandra Solomon yes. make sure you hit that notification bell because you do not want to miss her upcoming videos no and subscribe to Rotten Rebels channel put on that notification bell and say hello in the comments please do so yes thank you so much for watching we will see you next time bye bye <laughs>